Can you call the Ramo Banton and Chris Coloco to come into the, the game after the guys win a 9 of 5? Um, yep. To support what the middle, what is your intention to bring it back uh, for today's game? Just uh, day at the office. <laughs> day of work for them today, yeah. Mm. The, uh, Nick, what's the magic formula to beating a good team four times? <laughs> Wish I knew. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, listen, we've played, we've played very well. We've shot the ball very well. We've, we've um, defended uh, Mitchell pretty well. Um, and uh, we'll have our work cut out for us to do all those things again today, for sure. The, um, they're kind of a, it's kind of an interesting team to play with Yakov, I guess, because in a way, they, they play so they have such those two bigs. Sometimes it might be a temptation to kind of counter and go small. Are you know, looking forward to see what it's like trying to meet size to size with the team? Well, I just um, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Yak's been obviously good. Um, you know, he's provided us some some really great size against times when we've needed it. You know, in, in almost every game we've had him, there's been circumstances where we needed him. Yesterday, day before, day before, you know, game before that. Um, today we'll certainly, we'll certainly need them. I guess I'm probably more interested again in just continuing to build what we've got, right? And that's what we got, so we need to see it go against every, you know, combination or situation we, we do get in. Um, I know, I, I think last time we were here, we did end up going fairly small, it's probably as small as we played all year for for time, um, but that was a lot of that was injury and situational. I think I was watching the tape today, and it was Pascal at the four, Pascal at the five, OG at the four at one time with Gary and Fred and Malachi. I think for a stretch. Yeah, but I just think that that was again situational, and and I'm not even sure how that got there. To be honest with you, anymore been a lot of. A lot of travel since that <laughs> game. <laughs> a lot of yes. things happened. Yeah. yeah. Off of Michael's question, but more of a general question mm -hmm. on Myrtle, since I'm with the Cavs. Just yeah. How how does he change? Can he change? And vision you change? Just the complexion of your team. Well, what he's done for I've mean, done a number of things for us. First and foremost, he's rim protected. Um, he's gotten all of our big wing players. None of them really have to guard a big, huge center now right which none of them really liked all that much but they you know i think they did a good job a lot of times you know i'm um but and then that lets them guard positionally and lets us bump down even and move those guys to to kind of having size matchups on the perimeter right usually can push og all the way down to a two or a two man or a point guard which is great for us because he can guard them and then that Put Scotty and Pascal in pretty good matchups. Precious now is healthy and becoming part of that four-man wing group that really can defend. And Yak just stays in there at the at the five. So he's rim protecting. He's given us a little bit better matchups defensively. He's been a good uh, roll threat to the basket. He's been a good kind of safe haven to throw the ball with some cutting and passing as well. So he's done quite a bit. Yeah, I'm sure you've been asked this a lot, but. How would you characterize Scotty's offensive growth over this second year compared to last year? Uh, I mean, I think I think the the main thing would be he's probably uh, more comfortable shooting the three ball. He's really shooting it, you know, on the catch and shoots anyway. He's really shooting it pretty good, up, up pushing up towards thirty over thirty six percent, which is you know it's right there with about any, you know, any decent shooter in the league that's a pretty good number right you're going to be I, I'm trying to get him to take more of them right I'm trying to get him to always take more of everything um I just think he's um that's hey, that's a big thing he's a good free throw shooter he's getting a little better there and, and again he still uses his size and physicality getting to the basket and um he's probably grown a little bit in his confidence to take Shots down the stretch. He's had some really good fourth quarter stretch run games. Right. It can probably be pretty difficult too. I mean, you win the rookie of the year, so then there's all these you know expectations on the outside, probably on the inside too, of, of him building on that because opponents know it's coming now. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do you think he's responded to that? Well, he he um, 
is playing really well right now, right? He's yeah. he's he's on probably a good. I don't know. We think Michael six week stretch where he's, you know, looked like he was a year ago and improving from that. He, he probably had a little bit of a rocky start at times. Some of those things you talked about probably weighed in, but you know, just who knows, man. Second year, like you said, people are ready to go. Um, just uh, being able to come out there and play with um, super joy and enthusiasm every night like you did your rookie season, right? I think he's back to that. He's really, really having fun playing right now. What are you seeing from uh, OG since he's been back from injury? You know what? He's played really good defensively. Um, I think he's um, trying to find a little bit of rhythm on offense yet. You know, I just, you know he was out for, what, two, three weeks there? Leading into the break, throw another week on top of that. I think there's some, just some rhythm things there. He's had some really good looks, and he, he just doesn't look that comfortable sometimes right now. But I'm, he he we, he's been through this before, you know. I think even Gary is is still trying to work. He was out for a little while leading into the All Star game too. He's still working on some rhythm too. Um, but you know, we're gonna tell those guys both to keep firing them. I think they've been awesome looks, and and I know they both. Uh, they both really want to make them. They want to make them now, but they just kind of kind of get their legs underneath them and a little bit of rhythm back. The, um, I mean, there's tons of special guys in this league, but you know, a guy like Donovan, his yep. combination of being able to rise up from any distance and then just put his shoulder through the chest of mm -hmm. almost anyone who goes to the rim. Like, how tough a package? Well, is that? what what I think. Um, I might have said this uh, one of the first couple games we played him, but for me, what um, makes him difficult to guard or so good, and you use the word already combinations. He uses combination moves like like a lot of times it's three three directions and one you know start one way, go one way, come. You know he's really shifty. His start stop is great. You know his balance, his strength, and. And it's just uncommon, I think, to see a guy do three kind of directions in one move over and over, right? You know, and, and that's what makes it unique, I think, yeah. Good. Okay, enjoy the game. Thank you.